In this training video I'm going to do another bucket example, but this example is going to involve time. Uh, so we'll have time buckets and these are useful for showing uh, different periods of time, things that you may have done during different periods of time. And to start off with I'm going to show a 2012 calendar here to uh, set the time frame of what, what happened. So prior to July 2nd, all the, all the days leading up to July 2nd are a time period I call pre-testing. I'll call it pre-MVT. And beginning on Monday, July 2nd, we began a test called a screening test that lasted for six weeks. So it ran from Monday, July 2nd all the way through Sunday, August 12th. So during that period, that's a six-week period we'll call screening testing. And then for the next two weeks, nothing happened. We'll call that downtime, which is between the screening test and then beginning on August 26th, which is a Sunday, we began a second type of test called refining. That test ran for six weeks, all the way from the 26th of August through um, the, the 8th, uh, or the, actually the 7th of October, which was a Sunday. So that ran for six weeks. And then beginning on the 8th, we'll call post-refining time period. So those key dates are used to in Tableau to set up time buckets. And on, in this case, I'll call them MVT time periods. It's a calculated field. And the way that the time buckets are created is you use a date function. Well, <coughs> basically, in the database I have a, a field called date which is of course a, a date an actual date and then I say if that date is less than that I'm going to operate on a string here so the date of 712 which was the beginning of my screening test and I'm going to say call that period a pre MVT period and in this particular case I'm going to show four weeks of data uh, in the graphic else if the date's less than 813 then call it the screening period so if you think about this because date is sequential by using this if then else blocks with time periods that are marching through time or, or dates that are marching through time you can create these time buckets so my second time buckets called screening MVT which lasts for six weeks and if you look at the code here uh, the date operator is operating on the string, so the screening MVT goes between 7-2 and 8-12, um, which is the, what I showed you on the calendar. Then my next time period is a two-week period called downtime between 8-13 uh, and 8-26. My fourth time bucket is a refining MVT for six weeks that goes between 8-26 and 10-8. And then after that, it's called post-MVT, six months of data. So this time period, MVT time period, is just a simple calculated field, but the key thing is you have to know how to use the date operator and to pick your strategic dates, and then you can call your buckets whatever you want, and in this case I've put, I've named them so that I know what the time periods represent. So then <coughs> in the graphic you take the MVT time period bucket that you created and put it on the columns. And so here are the labels that we created, the pre-MVT period, screening period, downtime, refining, and post-refining. And of course, if you look down here at the dates, they're marching across time. The nice thing about this is you can take that bucket, drop it on the color tab, and then your graphics for those time periods are colored differently. And you can, of course, change your colors accordingly. And I'm using the colorblind palette for this. Uh, example <clears throat> but one of the things that may happen is when you put this in the the order of these will be will be not correct and so you'll have to basically just drag these and drop them in position because right now they're out of order and so if you look in here August drops to October then back to September so you may have to actually pull these and put them in the correct order so that the your time sequence is correct so what this shows is that um, prior to testing we had uh, two control groups of um, 128 stations that were tested and 457 that were not. Uh, prior to testing, there was very little difference. 
during the screening testing, very little difference. In the downtime, very little difference. But then when we hit it with uh, the helpful factors, the, the difference jumped 8% and then stuck after that nearly 6%. So this is a good way of, of demonstrating different time periods and different behaviors and your data at those time periods. And so um, that's what I call a time bucket. Uh, a packaged uh, Tableau workbook will be available for this example. Thanks for listening.